I recently played Mirror's Edge as well as Mirror's Edge Catalyst. They're two of my favorite games, so I figured I'd make a Mirror's Edge sticker mod. The bottom has a section of the main character's tattoo, and it is oriented to face the logo. This is the layer from Catalyst. Early concept art from the first game. A hanging garden inside of a skyscraper. And then the top is a mirrored surface so that it kind of looks like the side of a building and then of course it's a mirror and these are chrome stickers from Speed Cube Shop. I removed the stickers from a 60 millimeter cheese sale, printed images onto photo paper and then used rubber cement to glue them to the cube. Now the reason why I used rubber cement is because of any extra oozed out from under the photo paper. I could easily get rid of it and also it was to avoid gluing the cube mechanism together. One thing that surprised me was how thin these chrome stickers are. I'd say they're about half the thickness of regular um, vinyl stickers and so why that was a problem is when I was removing them from the paper that they were on, I was just removing them by hand and I actually ended up pulling part of the paper up with the stickers and so I ended up having to use a knife to get between the sticker and the paper. And also because of how thin it is, if you start to set a corner down and then change your mind about its positioning, it's very easy to crease the stickers. Line up the picture and not necessarily the stickers because if the stickers are off by a fraction of a millimeter but are aligned anyway, then the image will look odd, especially when it contains straight lines. So you can see here that the stickers are not quite in line, but the lines of this building are. So using pages, I was able to make nine squares that matched the measurements of these stickers. And then I placed an image behind this grid. And then once I picked the images that I wanted to use, I printed everything out and cut off this gray border. And then I rounded the corners to match the actual full fitted stickers. Now because this is photo paper, it is not good to get it wet because that will cause the ink to blend together. I was using a damp paper towel to wipe off some of the extra glue and I accidentally smeared this side so I had to redo it. Overall, this was a really enjoyable project. The games have very striking and appealing venues, which actually made selecting the remaining three images a bit difficult. Also, I thought the photo paper would feel strange because it's got such a glossy finish and then a strange texture, but after a bit of use, the paper ends up getting a sort of frosted feel instead. So I guess the only thing that's left is to scramble it. So the first thing I want to do is orient the center to face the red and then put in the cross. And now for F2L. And then you're left with these nice chrome stickers for OLL and PLL. And it looks like we have 
and F perm. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.